So now we are moving on to the next three parts or three sums of question number one. Remember, we are using the time factorization method, not the method that they have mentioned, so we need to change that. That is why I got the maximum. So let's start factorizing these numbers also. First, I take 275 and I start factorizing. I ask myself, is it divisible by 2? No, it is not divisible by 2. 3, 2 and 7 gives me 9, 9 and 5 gives me 14, not divisible by 3 either, only divisible by 5. So 5, 5s are 25, carry a small 2 here, that becomes also 25, 5 by the 5. 55, still divisible by 5. And 11 is a prime number, so 11 ones are 11. Let's take the next number, that is 83. Now, as you know, and that's what I've told you, by a particular method and by a particular format, to find out all the prime numbers between 1 and 100. And 83 happens to be a prime number. So, 83 will be divisible only by 83 and there's no other number. Let's go to my next number, 309. Is it divisible by 2? No, because it's ending with 9. To be divisible by 2, it should end with 0, 2. 4, 6 and 8. 3, 3 and 9, 12, yes. 3 by the 3, 0, 3, 3 is a 9. 103, 1 plus 3, 4, not divisible by 3. By 5, no. By 7, 7 on the 7, remainder 3, 33. 7 won't either go in 103. Next prime number, 11. 1 and 3, 4, 4 minus 0, 4, no. Eventually, you will basically won't get such sums where you will get confused to find out the prime numbers or the prime factorization. I'll give you easier sums that will not involve such big numbers. Actually, 103 happens to be a prime number. So only, only 103 will divide 103. Let's break it up. 275 will be written as 5 into 5 into 11. 83 will be written as, how do I write 83? As 83 into 1. I can write it like this. And 309, 3 into 103. Common. Now what's common between them? Is there anything common? After prime factorizing it, I don't have any common factors. But if you look, I am left with one year, one year, and one year. And remember, children, when there are no common factors between a set of numbers that are given, then they have only one factor in common, and that is number one, because one divides all numbers. So here the ACF of these numbers, when there are no other common factors between them, then there's only one common factor between them, and that is number one because one divides all numbers. Then you will say what about the other others also, we should put one there also, you can put one there, still you get the answer the same. If at this portion I get 2 into 2, answer is 4, if I multiply it at 1 by 1, which is the universal factor of all numbers, still my answer will be 4. But here I am writing 1 because there is now no common factor between them. But there is one factor that divides all numbers universally throughout the world and that is number 1. One is a factor to all numbers, including itself. Let's come to the next number. 27 and 36. So I write 27 and I factorize it. 2 does not go, but 3 9s are 27. 3 3s are 9. And 3 1s are 3. Let's take 36 and factorize it. Does 2 divide it? Yes, because it's ending with 6. 2 1s are 2. Take down 1 in the side, small 1, 2 is a 60. 2 9s are 18. 9 is divisible by 3, 3 3 is a 9. And 3 1s are 3. I write the breakup. 27 is equal to 3 into 3 into 3. And 36 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. My common factors, 2 is here but there is no 2 here. But there's one three here and one three here, another three here and another three here, 
I will not search this because there is not, not, there's not no other third tree in the, the factorization of 36. So my HCF, that means the highest common factor, would be one set of three multiplied by the other set of three. Taking only one. Three trees are nine. That's my answer. So this is how you have to do sum G. Let's go to the last sum of this number, number one. So I take 33 and I factorize it. 3 ones are 3. 11 is a prime number. 11 ones are 11. Then I take 19 and I factorize it. 3 threes are 9. 3 threes are 9. 3 11 is a 3. 11 is a prime number. So 33 can be written as 3 into 11. And 99 can be written as 3 into 3 into 11. Common 3 and 3, 11 and 11. My HCF, the highest common factor, is 3. It, one set of 3 taken once, one set of 11 taken once. 3 11 is our 13. So these are all these sums have to be done. Remember, the instruction has been changed. It is no more known as common factor method. We are using the prime factorization method because I am teaching you only from prime factorization method and common division method. This is how these other three sums have to be done. So the previous three snapshots have been sent to you. This snapshot will be sent to you. And all these six sums have to be done in your notebook, neatly with black pen. A and B is for homework. That needs to be done in blue pen. So if either you can do your homework first and then copy all of this, or you can copy all of this and then do your homework. You take very good care of yourselves. Stay at home, stay safe, eat healthy food, nutritious food, wholesome food, be of help to other people around you, and do take very good care of yourself. Bye.